What's up, guys? Welcome back to Chandler Burton Entertainment. And today we are doing another tier list Thursday. This is going to be Deathcore Bands. Um, I looked up just some music ones on Tier Maker and uh, I did Metalcore and I did video games and I've done a bunch of other stuff. I will be posting a new poll to decide which one I should do next. So just keep an eye on the community tab. Um, so yeah, we're going to do the deathcore bands here. I have no idea what's on this list and same as the metalcore one. We have all day, every day, crank it up every time. Pretty good, tolerable or never, ever, forever, ever. I think, again, I think that's from SpongeBob. Never, ever, forever, ever, never, ever, ever, ever. Yeah, I think that, I think that is SpongeBob. <laughs> oh, it's hilarious here. So, okay. I have no idea what to expect. Um, again, if I don't know the band, I'm just going to put them in never, ever, forever, ever. I could have made another category, but uh, I'll just put them at the bottom if I haven't heard of them. And also as well, if I have not heard of a band, I put them at the bottom. If you see something that I should react to, uh, leave it down below. I generally do email, but leave it down below in the comments. If you see a band here, like, oh, Chandler should definitely check out this band. Um, definitely let me know, and I will try to put a reaction in for sure. So, okay, without further ado, let's go ahead and get some tier list going. All right, so the first one is Winds of Plague. I haven't listened to these guys since, like, high school. Remember, my friend Jeff was a big fan. I'm going to put Tolerable. I have listened to them. I couldn't give you, like, I don't know. I couldn't give you, like, a name of a song, but I have I have heard them before. Slaughter Prevail, it's going to be all day, every day. I've mentioned before in my videos, Slaughter Prevail, Thy Artist Murder, Brand of Sacrifice. Um, I'm sure I'm missing one, but I really like Slaughter Prevail. Now, I know a lot of people think they're kind of overhyped, which... I mean, it's whatever. I mean, I guess it's fine. But I love this band. I love their Chapters EP. I love Misery Sermon. And I'm super excited for their new album that's coming out here next week. Uh, I probably will do a full album reaction and review to that. So definitely just keep an eye out for that. Um, but I absolutely love Sorry to Prevail. They're just heavy. They're relentless. And I actually got to see them live in Portland uh, last that was about two years ago. So super, super cool. Impending Doom. Impending Doom is actually a really good band. They are super underrated, and I think they're awesome. And I love their they're they're a Christian band, which of course I love the message behind some of their songs. So I don't listen to them every day, but I have jammed most of their stuff. And I gotta say, I'll crank it up every time. They are a really good band, super heavy. I still think they're underrated. I think they have a new album coming out this year. I could be wrong, but. Job for a Cowboy. Uh, I on I, I like Entombment of a Machine, but that's the only song that I like. I'll put Tolerable. They're fine. I mean, they're kind of... I don't know if they even still make music. Let me know if they still make music down below. All right. Carnifex. Uh, I haven't listened to them much, but from what I listen to, it's pretty good. I wouldn't crank it up every day, but they're pretty good. It's not bad. To be honest, I don't know what band this is. I'll put Never, Ever, Forever, Ever. Again, if I haven't heard it, I'll put it at the bottom as well. As Blood Runs Black, my friend Miguel, um, who's been on my podcast before, used to be a huge, huge fan of these guys, um, and they they were they were pretty good. They had a few good songs. I'll put pretty good. I don't ever listen. I mean, I think they're actually coming out with some new stuff soon. I think I saw something on their on their Facebook or Instagram, I believe. So, but yeah, no, they're pretty good. They're pretty they're pretty enjoyable to listen to. Fractured. I actually just checked out these guys doing a request for my friend Dylan, and they were they were pretty good. They were actually pretty awesome. I've only listened to that one song, but it was pretty good. I'm sure it would go higher if I jammed up more of their material, which I do need to do. But yeah, they were they were really cool, man. Rings of Saturn. Um, to be honest, it's not for me. I mean, I've listened to a few of their songs, just not for me. Ten Seconds of Life. I've heard one song, and it was I. I guess right here because the song was pretty good. That's the only song. I forgot the name of it, too. Hmm. I gotta be honest with myself here. I'll put Tolerable, because I don't know much of their material. Uh, A Night in Texas. I've never heard of them. I think that's how you say it. All Shall Perish. Oh, man. I haven't listened to these guys often, but... I'll put pretty good. It's been a while since I listened to them, but pretty good. White Chapel. Now, White, I think White Chapel actually was on the Metalcore one, which was very odd, but... In this case, I'll put them all day, every day, um, just because of the, the list here. I, I really do like White Chapel, man. I like the Valley. I love the clean singing. I love that it's still heavy. I think it's cool, man. I think it's really awesome. So, yeah, White Chapel, all day, every day for sure. That's some good stuff, dude. 
Oh man, Oceano. I've listened to Oceano in forever. I don't know if they put out any new music, but they've they had some pretty good stuff. My friend Kyle got me into them. He was a huge fan. And uh, uh the singer is uh, African American, which I can't, you know, it's not a big deal, but I thought that was pretty cool. He's got some awesome screens, but they're 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 pretty good. I haven't listened to them in a while, so I couldn't say crank it up every time, but I do like them. I hope they they might have new stuff out. I'll have to take a look. Uh, I don't know what this is. That's kind of cool, though, the logo. Br Bring Me the Horizon. Well, even with their older stuff, I don't really consider them, like, deathcore. I, I don't know. Definitely not their newer stuff. I guess I'll just base it off of their first couple of albums, because they kind of went from, I don't know, kind of deathcore-y with Count Your Blessings, and then they kind of went more metalcore, and now they're like a pop band. Uh... I don't know, man. I'll just say pretty good. I like their new stuff. It's pretty good, but I mean, it's not, it's not, I don't know. It's okay. Make Them Suffer. So Make Them Suffer is a band. I definitely put them crank it up every time. I love How to Survive a Funeral. That's more of a metalcore album, but some of their other stuff I went back and I jammed and uh, it's actually really good. It's a lot heavier than their newer stuff, but their new stuff is just more, I think it's just better. Um, but yeah, I crank Make Them Supper up every time. I only put them there, not all day, every day, because How to Survive a Funeral is like the only album I listen to consistently, and that's definitely, in my opinion, more of a metalcore type record, so I'll just put it there. Oh, Suicide Silence, dude. Oh, man. Uh, I, like their, I like some of their older stuff. I never got too much into them. Um... You know, they're self-titled. We do not like... If the self-title was just that, it'd be a never, ever, forever, ever. I've honestly... Even with, with Mitch in it, May God Rest His Soul, I, I just never got into them that much. Uh, but they're pretty good. I mean, I know what they did for the deathcore community or, like, the heavier types of music. They are a very well-known and recognizable heavy metal band. So... Uh, but their music is good. It is good. Even their newest album, I think it's called, like, Becoming the Hunter or something. A couple of songs in there that were pretty good. Enterprise Earth. Actually, Enterprise Earth is sick. I'm going to put that cranking up every time. They're actually at the same show as Slaughter to Prevail. Um, they were really, really cool. They have a song called Scars of the Past. It's so good. And they also do a cover of Lamb of God's Now You've Got Something to Die For. That sounds horrible because I'm not warmed up to scream that. But super, super good band, man. I think they have new stuff coming out too. So super excited about that. I don't know what this is, so I'm going to put that at the bottom. Awaken Providence. Uh, I only know, that's only like one song I know by them. I don't remember the name, but it was pretty good, I, I guess. I mean, it, was, it wasn't bad. I uh, don't know what that is either. Looks kind of cool, though. Shadow of Intent. Oh, man. Shadow of Intent. It's either Crank It Up or All Day Every Day. I really like Shadow of Intent. It's probably All Day Every Day. I do like Shadow of Intent. I think they're really heavy. I'm a sucker for Chris Wiseman because, again, he plays guitar in the band Currents, and Currents is one of my favorite metalcore bands ever. So I'm just like, I gotta give them props, dude. Super good stuff. I do like Shadow and Ten quite a bit. Like, these three bands right now, I do listen to often, especially when I go running or walking or whatever. So, it's good stuff. Uh, Black Tongue, I've never listened to them. Infinite, Infinite Annihilator, I have listened to them. And honestly, I'm just, I'm not a huge fan, to be honest. I'm just, I just don't like it. The Acacia Strain, uh, I've heard a few songs. Um, my friend Justin's really into them. Um... They're pretty tolerable. I don't know much of the material to put them higher, but they're not bad. They're pretty good. I Declare War. I think my friend Kyle likes his band. And I know he's shown me a few. Yeah, he has shown me a few songs. I couldn't name a song, but I it was tolerable. It was, it was okay. <laughs> okay. I don't know what that is. Kind of a, another cool logo, though. Oh, Fit for an Autopsy, dude. Fit for an Autopsy is so sick. Especially their new album, Sea of Tragic Beast. That is an awesome awesome album. One of the best heavier albums I've heard in forever, so... Oh, man. I, I like their older stuff, but the Sea of Tragic Beach was so freaking good. I'm gonna put it up, crank it up every time just for that one album alone, because it's so, so good. If you haven't heard it, you need to go check it out. It's super heavy, and it's just awesome. Um, I don't know what that one is. I'll just put that right here. I don't know who that is, either. Grave Mind? I... I think, I don't know. I haven't heard that band, though. Again, if you see anything in the Never Have I Ever category that I haven't heard before, leave a comment. I'll try to check it out for sure. Don't know what that is, either. Thy Artist Murder, all day, every day. I love Thy Artist Murder. I don't know, man. There's something about the vocals and just the way everything sounds. I got some classic metal songs, dude. Freaking 
so good. Rain of Darkness, and even their new album, it's really good. Like, 21st Century Death Squad, or Make America Hate Again. Like, I like, I don't know, man. Like, I just, I just like them. I just, I don't know. I just like, I just like how heavy they are, and I just really like the vocals. So, they're really, really good. Um, Let's see. I don't know who that is. is that Lorna? That's not Lorna Shore, I don't think. I don't know who that is. I'm going to put that at the bottom. Um, don't know what that is either. Within the Ruins, man. I do like Within the Ruins a lot, actually. Even their new album. Um, forgot the name. Uh, I think Blackheart is what it was called, but it was good. I have listened to it, and it's actually pretty. Even their old stuff's cool, too. I, I don't know. I can, they're kind of progressive deathcore. I'll say cranking up every time. I actually really do like Within the Ruins, man. They got some good stuff, dude. Uh, I don't know. I know that band, but I don't think I've listened to them. I haven't listened to them. Chelsea Grin, another band that's kind of hit or miss. Um, I've actually seen them live. I saw them live at Warp Tour for a little bit. Um, it was more of like I was passing to go see another band, but I saw I caught a little bit of them playing. Um, they're pretty good, I would say. I mean, you know, they're not my favorite heavier band, but I, I like them okay. They're not bad. Traitors, I actually have. I've seen live as well. They were also with Slaughter. It was Slaughter Prevail, Chelsea Grin, um, Enterprise Earth them and there was another band too but they were pretty good i don't know much of their stuff but watching them live they're yeah they were awesome dude lotus eater i did a reaction to, to the one with ollie sykes in it and it was it was i'll say tolerable because i don't know much of their other stuff and i don't want to put pretty good even though i even though i've done that before but anyway i'll say tolerable uh never heard of this band before i don't know what this one is see it looks like shore but i don't think it's lauren ashore i don't i don't think it is I don't know who it is. I'll just put that at the bottom. Don't know who that is either. Um, yeah, I have no idea. Spite. I do like Spite. Again, my friend Kyle loves this band. Um, yeah, dude, they're pretty heavy. They're pretty. They're pretty. I'm put pretty good. They're not. Oh, Kyle doesn't. Kyle, I love you, buddy. I'm sorry I put them in pretty good, but I don't jam them enough to put them like cranking up every time or all day every day. But from what I have heard, uh, they are super sick. Super, super sick. Oh, man. Hollow Front. I don't really consider Hollow Front a death core band. Um, but Hollow Front's awesome. They're one of my favorite bands as of right now. They just they just got signed to UFND, UFND Records, like with Era, like Moss of Flames, a couple other bands. They're awesome, dude. I really, really like Hollow Front. They put out their EPs by themselves. They put out their full length by themselves. Um, they just got signed, putting out some new stuff. So I, dude, I'm put all day, every day for Hollow Front. I really like them. I love to like get to know them and, you know, it'd be really cool. They have some good material, man. Through, through the eyes of the dead. I think that's what it's called. I haven't heard of them. I love how I try to pronounce these and I try to justify it, but I've never heard never listened to it before despised icon uh i haven't really listened to them and i don't know what that is all right guys well as you can tell i got a lot of mu music i gotta listen to there are some bands in here i have heard that is weren't a huge fan of but there are again if you see anything in the never have i ever category that you check out leave the name of the band and the song and i'll add it to my list uh i, I try to do you know weekly videos or daily videos so i should be able to get to that no problem. But yeah, a lot of these bands I actually listened to quite a bit. So yeah, that was that was pretty fun. It was a lot shorter than I thought it was going to be. Because again, I go into these blinds, so I don't know what's on here. Um, but yeah, that was really fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Tearless Thursday. If you do like what you see, feel free to hit the subscribe button and the like button. It really does go a long way. But until next time, I hope you all take care. And thank you again for the ongoing support. It means the world.